Alright, hi and welcome back to our educators. So for today, I'm going to discuss uh, SBP 2023 question. It's uh, question number two lah. Okay, so this question is from periodic table chapter. So basically, this video I'm going to explain in English. So let's say you want the answers in Malay, you can let me know in the comment box. So I will do another one video for Malay version pula. Okay, but for now, for this question, I'm going to do it in English, but I will tell the Malay one also lah. So you can simply jot down. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, element X is located in group 1 and period 3. In the periodic table of elements, diagram 2 show the apparatus set up for an experiment to study the reaction between element X with chlorine gas. Okay, so basically chlorine gas is element group 17 lah. Okay, and then group 1. Okay, so you should know by time what is the element of group 1, what is the element in period 3. Because group, okay, group will determine the valence electron. Betul tak? While the shell, uh, sorry, the period, the period, it, um, what do you call that? It uh, would uh, show the number of shells that present in a particular element the number of shell so let's say the element is in group 1 so it have one electron valence electron if let's say the element is in group uh, 13 so it have three valence electron or uh, something like that faham tak okay so basically you should know lah this one all and period if let's say the element is in period 2 so it have two shells this is first shell this is second shell something like that or something like this okay any anything lah but it have two shells just the thing okay so this all just the basic okay i padam lah ni semua then we just go to the question okay this is such a easy question for me which going to give you five marks well very simple five marks and then we will go for the question okay so the first question glamour very glamour question what is meant by group upper maksud kumpu kumpulan okay okay uh, so group okay so remember group is it vertical column or horizontal column uh, come on think for it okay vertical or horizontal okay always remember that it is a vertical column Okay, it's not horizontal column. Okay, vertical column. Okay, the spelling should be correct. For English, memang spelling sangat-sangat important. Vertical, don't just write vertical column that place elements. No, wrong. Vertical column in the periodic table of elements. That's the answer. In the periodic table of elements. So this is the very important word that should be there. Okay, there, there is two words. If you miss any one of it, we will reject the answer. In the periodic table of elements, so I forgot the S. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, you shouldn't miss this vertical column word. Okay, it's a compulsory with correct spelling. And this one is more important. Most of the candidates in that particular year, they only write vertical column. That's it. Then who want to write the periodic table? Remember, if you want to define something, define completely like how the textbook defining for you. So the best answer is vertical column in the periodic table of elements. Okay, don't simply write vertical column. It's wrong. If someone asks you what is the meaning of group, uh, this is the answer. Lah. If someone asks what is the meaning of, uh, what's another thing? Huh? Yeah, if someone asks you the meaning of period, then you have to say horizontal column in the periodic table of elements. So don't ever miss this front word, huh? periodic, sorry, this back word, periodic table of elements and this column. You should create a monomic or something just to remember what is group, what is period. Okay, group and period. So it's up to you know, how you want to remember. Okay. But for me, I like for me lah, I feel like uh, it's very hard for me to remember. So what I do, I create monomic like this. Okay. I, uh, it's not something about politics. Huh? Okay. So uh, I ingat periodic, dia ada H. Okay. Sebab saya ingat PH. Uh, PH hospital lah. Janganlah kata saya is in party politik apa. No, no, no. So I remember PH kan. So ni horizontal columns. Ni Kalau ni horizontal ni of course lah vertical uh, I remember macam tu Okay I ingat P ni dia punya partner always H I ingat macam tu Faham tak? Okay So that's the thing Yang kena ingat Okay next moving on 
state the color of chlorine gas okay chlorine gas okay chlorine gas dia adalah only one color okay if in bahasa melayu we will write kuning kehijauan in english we will write greenish yellow okay greenish yellow okay some of the candidates on that year they write pale yellow okay greenish yellow and pale yellow is just the same thing okay even if you write uh yeah correct pale yellow don't write yellow only it's not acceptable on that particular year we also don't know why they didn't accept okay it's not yellow it is either greenish yellow or pale yellow in english okay or okay pale yellow this is the color of that gas you should know the color of all the gases in group 17 which is uh fluorine chlorine and bromine usually they leave to ask about the color of chlorine gas okay this is a targeted question lah so i put um what do you call that the symbol to indicate that it's a very important question so correct spelling will bring you the one mark and next when the reaction is complete a white solid is formed a white solid is formed name the white solid okay so they say that white solid right okay you have chlorine gas and solid x burns brightly with yellow flame ah uh, this one you should this is the where the keyword to show what is this solid okay let's open the textbook first okay so open already your textbook and you can see when alkali metal burns in chlorine gas a white solid that okay so this this particular this last line is showing that that particular thing okay and they say yellow flame one keyword and second one is chlorine gas so in your textbook you learn mostly about reaction of alkali metal which is the sodium with chlorine gas okay so when your sodium react with chlorine gas it going to produce metal chloride okay so in this case the solid is actually a sodium the x is actually a so sodium lah sodium or in bahasa melayu it's natrium so they what they say metal chloride right so what is the metal chloride name sodium chloride lah dapat tak okay that's the only answer no other answer okay and some students they know the answer is sodium chloride they put an acl wrong because they ask you to name not to give the chemical symbol i mean chemical uh, formula okay so cannot put an acl we reject you know that year for those who put like that we reject because we worried that it going to be penalized in exam okay so better if they ask you to name you name it properly okay don't put the chemical or formula chemical formula okay it's wrong unless like it's required okay so remember that the only solid that you learn that going to produce bright yellow flame when it react with chlorine gas is sodium which was stated in your textbook itself so this question is basically from the textbook okay chloride okay wait ah uh, my spelling is correct c h l o r i d yeah correct and then last one state the changes in atomic size and electronegativity of the elements when across the period from left to right okay across the period from left to right okay so usually for group up to down right so from left to right means they are asking about period 3 okay they asking about period 3 all right so we have to move to the period 3 part yeah this is the period 3 Okay, so they ask about the atomic size and electronegativity, right? Okay, see here. Okay, electronegativity is the tendency of the uh, element to uh, fulfill or to complete its electron shell. Faham tak? So they ask about the atomic size. So the atomic size will increase. Why does it increase? Because the electro sorry, the ele atomic size will decrease. because the electronegativity is very high why it is very high because they are this particular thing you see here increase in the number of proton will increase the charge so the electronegative of elements will increase because the nuclear attraction macam ni lah okay if let's say sodium 2.8.1 lah so d first shell second shell and third shell okay and then let's say you have argon here ah tak payah lah argon okay wait ah 
magnesium lah okay okay 2 dot dot 8 okay so when you go further dia punya proton number higher because it's on 2 dot 8 dot 1 kan dia punya electron so dia ada 11 proton actually kan atom proton electron same while this one 2 dot 8 dot 2 right so dia punya uh, total proton 12 Correct, this one is 11, this one is 12. So, which one punya proton higher? This one, right? So, the proton higher, dia ada banyak charge positif in the nucleus, right? So, it going to tarik semua electron towards it. That's why, to make it simple, in this period 3, when the particular element have more protons than the element before or after this, usually before lah, Yang before dia ada more proton So dia akan lagi kecil The atomic size Faham tak? Because the proton Dia tarik elektron Semua elektron datang dekat dengan dia If This is a special case For period 3 element Okay So Dah macam tu So the first thing About the atomic size So what you want to say Atomic size Decrease lah Okay Atomic size This is a very simple question But it requires a major understanding Atomic size Decrease Okay, so how about the electronegativity? What I say about electronegativity, tendency to fulfill, right? So the electronegativity is increase lah. Okay, increase lah, state the changes, right? So you have to say in increase. Electronegativity. Or you simply want to put increase, decrease pun boleh juga, tak ada masalah. Okay, I simply just nak bagi, you know, Nak bagi lengkap. Okay. In, increase. So, th this is the concept for period 3. Basically, the elements, kalau it's moving from left to right, dia punya bilangan proton semakin bertambah. The number of protons is increasing. So, when the number of protons increasing for period 3, the proton will attract the all the electrons in the shells. In shell 1, shell 2, shell 3. There are 3 shells. That's so why the period 3, kan? So, all the electrons in period 1 sampai 3 to be more dekat dengan dia. Faham tak? Dia akan tarik like to get pasangan. So, dia akan lagi ke ke chain from left to right. Okay. So, that's the only thing that I want you to understand for this one. Okay. So, let's say this become your exam question. How I do mark this? Okay. The first one, I have vertical and this one if I have, I give you the one mark. Color, greenish yellow, pale yellow, yes, acceptable. Don't put yellow, don't put green, no acceptable. And the name of the metal, don't say metal chloride, no, no, no. We want the name of the white solid. Okay, I already explained to you, right, about this one. So, sodium chloride is the only answer with correct spelling. You put NaCl, no, wrong, no marks for you. Okay, then, final one, this one, the word decrease. This one, the word increase. Okay, ada, ada dapat marka. So, that's it lah. Okay. So, you simply get the 5 marks. No hard thing also. It's just as simple as that. So, if let's say you feel my explanation is not enough, you can request to me to explain more detail. I will go. So, that's it I guess for this video. Thank you and bye.